I love taking long walks on the beach in the morning, even when it's windy and just a little bit stormy and just a little bit cold. But this is where I can find all my treasures that I use in my Christmas ornaments and my other artwork, like the oyster shells and pieces of driftwood and sea beans and all kinds of cool stuff. But this morning, I got the idea of trying something a little bit different with my oyster shells. So, come on along and see what I do. I love using my ornament jig now to, to make these oyster shells. The nails that stick up through the canvas, and I'll put a link to the to the video where I show you how I made this jig. And I gotta find a, a different name instead of jig. It just sounds so, I don't know, crude. But that's exactly what it is. The nails stick up through the canvas, and I'm able to use the nails as little pedestals to support the ornaments, and it works perfectly. It works great on round ball ornaments, flat ball ornaments, and these oyster shells that are, you know, kind of lopsided because I can use the jig, I can use the nails to support the, the shells any way that I need to. It's perfect. Something I've not tried on these shells before is my chunky sea foam, the textured sea foam. And I thought, well, why not? It should work. I'm using my little ornament jig here with the nails. I'll link to the video on how I made that. I use it a lot. It works really well. And I will also put a link in the description on how I made this textured sea foam. You've seen me use this in a couple videos. Uh, this is four parts of Mod Podge and one part uh, dish soap, doesn't matter what kind of dish soap you use, and then a little bit of water just to kind of make it blend together. You don't really need that much water. And then I've added um, white apple barrel paint just to color the waves a little bit. And then I have a lid with a hole poked in it for my straw because if you don't use a straw, it when you blow and make the bubbles, it makes a mess. So I use the lid. I'm going to turn my fan off because the fan encourages fan encourages the bubbles to pop. silicone spoon that I'm going to scoop out bubbles from my container. Not the big bubbles. I just want the little bubbles. And I'm just going to put a little bit on these shells. I'm not being very exact. There's no rhyme or reason to how much I'm putting on. I'm just kind of playing around just with different ideas. Now I'm going to be putting probably resin, some mica powders on these once they dry, but these need to dry. And it's going to take a little while for it to dry, probably overnight. So this is not a quick process at all. And I am really just schlepping it on there. I just want to try some things. See what it looks like. Oh, that's perfect. 
Thanks. Oopsie, that was a little bit too lazy. That's okay. Pop the big boulders. We don't want those. They're going to pop anyway. One more time, just enough for the rest of the leaf. That one's falling a little bit. Okay, watch what happens if I try to put this on the shell. The the big bubble just so they just want to break so you don't want those big bubbles you want that foamy stuff like not quite latte foam but i guess it is kind of like latte foam someone did suggest using a a um, frother like a cappuccino frother and i've thought about just ordering one and just trying it out but I don't know if it would cause too many tiny bubbles did I miss any all right the dish soap makes the bubbles the mod podge is what gives the bubbles the structure and makes them um you know makes them hold shape because normally if you just put the bubbles out they're almost immediately going to pop so this gives it some structure all right these now need to dry Probably going to take overnight. So, not a one day project. All right, I have mixed up some Let's Resin resin, and I've been letting it sit in my cup to thicken up for, I think, about 20 minutes. And I just want it to thicken up a little bit. And the reason I'm using this is I'm out of my KS resin liquidy split. You know, that's normally what I do. I don't want to add any colorant to the resin, but I, because I do want to put clear resin on top of my bubbles. And I'm going to be adding, I think, a little bit of sand to some of these. And then um, some of this blue crushed glass. I've sifted it to get out the really tiny pieces because I'm, that's what I'm going to use. The tiny pieces I'm going to use for the ocean. So I am going to put a glove on using my finger to spread the resin. It's just the fastest, easiest way. It's really the easiest way to do it. 
Um, okay, so I'm just going to pick one up at a time. Nice liberal coat, and I'm just trying to be a little bit quick with these because I have a meeting in a, in a few minutes. And some of these have holes. Now, see the the bubbles aren't showing up really on that one. That's all right. I think I'm going to lose some resin on this one. It's got a hole in it. And I know I probably will lose some to drips, and that's all right. I'm not super worried about that. It is what it is. I could have done, I think, for the bubbles before putting the resin on is just maybe, and I really should have done that. Um, I could paint with some silver paint, and that would have brightened up the bubbles a little bit, but. I don't really have time now because my resin is going to set before everything is dry. This will be fine. You can still see the bubbles. They're, they're totally fine. I'm going to be really gentle with them because they are, they can be fragile. So if you're too rough with them, because I do have some in a cup, bubbles will come off. Now that's kind of a cool little drip on there. See that? I just love how resin shines these up. That one's going to drip for sure. Probably should have put a glove on my other hand, but I didn't. Now, I've sifted the small bits. It's not very sharp. I don't use gloves on this part. This is glass, glass that I have crushed myself. And I will put a link to the quick little video that I did. It's really easy. And so this is going to take place of any kind of tolerance in my resin. This is just going to be the ocean part of the shell. Now, if you don't have a way of crushing glass yourself, you can buy crushed glass on Amazon. I have seen people use, um, I think it's called fire glass. And I think the crazy glass lady uses fire glass in her videos, if I am not mistaken. I'm really going to load these up because I'm going to be putting a little bit more resin on top. I want these to be really chunky. I 
I can always come back. That's what I can do. I can always come back and add um, more when I put more resin on. That way it completely covers up the resin. We might use some glitter mixed in here. And yeah, I'm making all these the same, but I'm trying to be quick rather than as creative, I guess, on this one. Um, if I have a show coming up, I need to get these done. So now I have the rest of my mermaid trash, and I will also put a link in the description to how I made mermaid trash and what it is. And what I'm going to do now is... Um, just put some of this on the bottom of the shell as much as I can without making a mess. And this is going to be the beach. So this is mimicking Mimicking the beach. So now I'm going to go back through and put some more resin down. Let's just really finishes it off like it just adds that little something extra that makes the ornament special and you know I really I really should have I think gone back and added some color to these bubbles you know this was an experiment I'm happy I'm not unhappy with it but I think that, like, this one is very detailed. Um, on the darker ornaments, the bubbles show up a little bit better. On the lighter, on the lighter shells, the bubbles don't show up as much. So, experiment. It's not a failed experiment. It's just an experiment. There's no failures in experiments. There are only learning opportunities. And I think these are simply adorable. Is that all? Did I get all of them? Now I'm just going to go back over with my stick and the resin and just add a little bit more. So these are definitely going to have to cure probably overnight. This is not a fast set resin. That's really the only downside to this resin is that it is, that it is not a fast set. So I think I'm just going to take the rest of this glass and, um, and I'm out of mermaid trash. I need to make some more, which will be good because then I can show you in a video. So I'm just going to sprinkle the rest of this um, blue glass on some of these ornaments that are, or some of these gels that are just looking a little bit naked. Oops. I have to use 
all of it. But. Okay. All I'm going to use, I can put this back in the bucket and put a little bit more in there. I'm going to fix a few of these that I know are probably. Dog hair. That one I need to fix. That one's already been dripping. Yeah, I think. I knew that one was going to drip. There we go. I think this one's already been dripping on the back. I wish I could turn this one over and show you, but I can dremel it off. It's fine. Not a big deal. This one's been dripping a little bit. Okay, so time for lunch. These have been sitting overnight. Turned out really, really cute. Look at that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use UV resin and put the hangers on the back. Um, I just don't know of a better way to do this. These are just so thick. I don't, there's no way I'm going to be able to drill through it. I put a little dot of the UV resin and then one of these little glass beads. All right, here, here's hoping this works. My camera lost battery, so I missed recording all of this prettiness. But I was getting frustrated anyway. So, I'm using my raffia ribbon and my UV light and UV resin by Let's Resin just to get my hangers on and I think this is going to work fine. You ever have one of those days where you just get frustrated and you feel like nothing is working right and today is just one of those days. Today is just one of those days so... Look at how cute these are. Look at that. You really can see the bubbles on a lot of them. I know this one I put a little bit too much bling bling, but look at that. Isn't that just the cutest? I am really digging it. Really loving it. I'm glad I tried that. It's just the right amount of the glass. The glass is nice and chunky. It's not a really um, resiny look. Like it's not, and a couple of them have a lot of resin. So they, the resin pulled, this one's cute. Let me see if I can find the one. Um, this one has a lot of resin in here. This is really cute. Um, but yeah, just, uh, I'm glad I experimented with this. What a good experiment. So, hope you learned something new. 
become inspired to try something and uh, here we go and this is just the one that had lost its hanger and I put a new hanger on so that's it and I think that these might be the last ornaments I make for the year I am just plum exhausted <laughs> so all right bye